What's up everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today, listen, I got a mouthful for you. A garlic stuffed mashed potato lobster shell. Listen, I know it's gonna be a lot. If you guys been following the show that I do, you know, Battle of the Kitchens, you saw the final show. Uh, this goes out, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just give him all the recognition because listen, he came up with like a, I can't even imagine how I even come up with this, but I'm getting ready to show you guys how we can make it here at home to do something special. You know what I mean? You want to like show out, drop your mic. This is it right here. So I'm gonna say it one more time. We're gonna do a garlic mashed potato stuffed lobster shell. I'm getting ready to show you guys how to do it. We finna take the mystery out of it. We saw it live. Now I'm finna give you the ingredients. Hey Kev, you show it out on this one. I'm gonna leave Kev's information, you know, to his channel down in the description box below. Hey, you go, you guys go by and uh, check him out. Hey, you wanna see something, you know, incredible, something that's going down, that's it. What I'm gonna do right now, we can just break right into the ingredients. You don't need a whole lot. You gotta have green onions. Gotta have the green onions. You gotta have garnish. We got red potatoes. We're using fresh garlic. Of course, you gotta have butter. Half and half. Listen, because we want it to be creamy. You want it to keep some texture. And then uh, right here, we got that sour cream. But I'm getting ready to show you. I'll leave down in the description box below the whole shebang as far as, uh, you know, what quantities and things like that. But listen, we finna get right into it. And you know what? I know you guys probably tripping because you're like, hey, he didn't show the lobster tail. Let me go ahead and bring you in and show you real close. And that's it right there. We finna turn this lobster tail. This is the one we're getting ready to stuff. Hey, so with that being said, we finna get right into this video. Now, before you start cutting your potatoes, don't forget you want to wash them, you know, scrub them and wash them, clean them, you know, pat them dry. And then what you want to do is you want to cut your potatoes and then equally, you know, equal halves. The reason being, when you go ahead and boil them, you want them to cook evenly and all of them be ready at the same time. As you can see, I already had, you know, my hot water uh, boiling already. And then here, I'm just going to go ahead and get myself a couple of uh, cloves and go ahead and mince my garlic. So here's the treat. If you guys watched the show from Battle of the Kitchens and you saw Kev, he had came up with a bowl. Listen, it's textured in the inside right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this close so you guys can uh, take a look at it. I don't know if you guys can see, but listen. It's texture. This right here, you can take the garlic. Once I peel this back, you can take it and you go back and forth. The Kev was exposed to this. And listen, when I saw it in the show, it had everybody's eyes open. You know what I mean? My mouth was watering. I was like, Kev, I gotta have one of those. So what Kev did was, shot me a FedEx box, opened up the box, and boom, here it is. Hey, Kev, thanks, bro. But right now, I'm getting ready to show you how I use it. So let's go ahead and get this garlic up minced. Okay. First thing you want to do is you just want to go ahead and peel your garlic then go ahead and grab your bowl. Now listen, when you go ahead and uh, when you start to mince it and rubbing it back and forth with this only being one uh, garlic clove, you're not going to be able to see it as, you know, as good. But you can get the, you know, the picture right here. What I'm doing is I'm just rubbing it back and forth, back and forth. And then I just brush it all down to one corner. And here right now, I'm just using my green onion, you know, chopping it up, getting ready for some uh, garnish. And I would like to put some... Uh, I would like to put the green onion inside of the mashed potato. Now this right here, this is where it starts to become fun. Go ahead, grab your lobster tail, and you want to get yourself some uh, kitchen shears, and then you just want to cut it down the middle. But what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't cut the meat. So you want to run your thumb along the top of it to separate, you know, just the meat from the shell. Then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. As you can see, take my thumb between the meat and the membrane on the bottom. You just want to run it down that way, as you just saw right there. And then lift it, spread the shell, and then go ahead and just pull it all the way out. And then th those little pieces that's on the end right there, those little muscles, we just gonna cut those off. You know, I just discard those. And then, you know, that's the shell that we're gonna uh, stuff later. Now, right here, when you cut your lobster, it's really up to you how big the bites are. Uh, you know, it's not a, a big, you know, a large lobster tail. So I would like to just cut these. You see, I cut them down like into halves and then those halves into halves. That right there and again that's entirely up to you how big you want your bites to be inside of your mashed potatoes now after you're done cutting your lobster tail down into bites you want to go ahead and add a couple of tablespoons of butter to your pan and right here on medium high heat listen you don't want to burn your butter you don't want it to turn you know brown you just want to you know monitor it and you want to go ahead and melt that down and today you can see i'm using that jo number two that's my crab seasoning listen that's the seafood seasoning if you ask me that's the season all that right there that's today's weapon of choice right now 
Now you can see the potatoes, they are already ready. I already took, the, you know, removed them, you know, turned off the heat. And now that the butter is uh, completely, you know, melted, I adjust my fire, because again, we don't want to uh, burn our butter. And then go ahead and add your lobster bites, you know, to the uh, butter. And after that, we just gonna move them around. And don't forget, this is like shrimp or any other seafood. It's delicate. It can turn, you know, it can turn rubbery real quick. So you just wanna keep it moving. Somewhere right around a minute or so, you wanna go ahead and add your seasoning to it. Yeah, as you can see, I season it. You can see it in the butter. You can see it on the lobster. And I just keep working it back and forth. And again, you wanna monitor that fire because you don't wanna burn it and you don't wanna overcook the lobster and you don't want them to become, you know, rubbery. Now, go ahead and grab your garlic. And you know, you just saw me mention, so now I'm just adding my garlic to it. And that's delicate also, because that can burn easily also. So we just keep moving it back and forth, back and forth. I make sure that fire is low. I just want to keep a little, you know, I can just see it, you know, being sauteed. That's good. I work it back and forth, keep moving it like that. And then when it's about done, I just turn off the fire and I go ahead and just remove it and set it off to the side. Now listen, if your pan is completely hot, you might want to just take it out of there because you don't want it to continue to cook with the heat. Now, after you're done with that, that's going ahead and uh, starting to cool. Go ahead and grab your potatoes, put that in a, a bowl, and go ahead and just mash them up. I like to keep mine, as you can see, I like the way it looks and the taste of having, you know, the uh, skin on there. So, right now, look, I'm mashing it and I'm using a the back of a scoop. Listen, it fits good, especially with these type of bowls. It reaches the corners just perfectly. You know, go ahead and add you some butter. Now, you can make your mashed potatoes any kind of way you want to. This is the way that I like to make them. You know, uh, the best thing I can tell you is you got to have some type of texture to it. So when you go ahead and start to pipe in the mashed potatoes into your uh, shell, you want it to be able to maintain its shape. If you make it too soft and too runny, you know what I mean? It might taste good and fluffy, but it won't have it won't be able to uh, stand up. It'll just lay on top, you know, lay all around it. So you just want to go ahead and keep working it back and forth. After I added that butter, that's the consistency I'm looking for right there. Now, go ahead. Now here's the hey listen this is where it's starting to come together now go ahead and add that butter that that butter that uh, garlic butter and that lob you know your lobster bites to that and now you see the flavor starting to come in so that's what we're looking for right there and then you know what you can go ahead and start adding yourself some green onions and again you can add green onions to it uh you can always chop up some more if you have more I know I talked earlier about it being garnished but I like to have it inside there also I'm finna get a spoon I ain't gonna lie to y'all here it is, folks. We just want to taste it and see where we at. I'm trying to think, what could I do to hold myself back? And then I got to show you something with this lobster tail. All right. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to put this half and half in here. Here's where it's going to get a little tricky. We don't need a whole lot because the whole purpose of this is for it to have some kind of structure. Because again, we're getting ready to pipe this inside. So, after I figure out how to get this open, this right here is reminding me like old school elementary, you know, put it in here. So, let me go ahead and get my spatula that I keep just washing. Okay, we got this here. We only want to put a little bit of this in here. And a little bit at a time. We just, hey, I'm gonna say that's a, you know, a little bit more. That right there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this sour cream to it. What you want to do is, this is key. You want to start off small. It's always better to add more because if you add too much, it's ruined. So we're just going to go ahead and hit it like that. I just hit it with like, eh, like that. We're just going to work it in and we're going to see what's going on. I'm going to almost tell you right now from the way it's moving around, this is it. I probably won't add nothing else to it. This is the consistency I'm looking for. I can see these lobster bikes just moving back and forth. You know, uh, ah, this is it, folks. Now, you can get creative. You can add cheese to this part right here. You can add cheese on top. You can add whatever. You know, I mean, I'm feeling like it's needing a little bit more of this green onion because we can always chop up some more green onion. I'm going to hit it like this so you guys can see. You can see the green onion. You know the lobster bites are in there. It's flavorful, flavorful from all of the... Uh, the buttery goodness, lobster taste, that's in here. So what I'm getting ready to do is, you see the water's boiling. I'm getting ready to, look, it's already open. Got the little fins underneath the bottom. Just the tail, right? So what I'm getting ready to do is drop this inside and we gonna let, this is all about the presentation here. So I'm gonna drop this inside right now. 
We're gonna let it brighten up a little bit. You see it doesn't take long. Look at the color. Look at that color there, y'all. Hey, look, see that orange is coming? That right there, hey, that's it. All about the presentation because we're going to eat with our eyes first. So we're going to eat with that. I'm going to go ahead and take it off. We're going to take it off. That's the color I'm looking for. So let me get me some tongs. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, set that to the side. Now we're going to take this. What I'm going to do is, in order for us to pipe it in, we're going to have to have a plastic bag. You can use a Ziploc. This is like a gallon bag. So listen, I'm going to open it up. Roll it open like this a little bit. Now remember, we're only doing one shell. We got a lot of potato. So this is probably going to be enough. What I do is I like to get it all the way to the edge. I mean, the one corner. You see that right there? That's it right there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this in, this tip. And that, listen, you don't wanna cut the tip too big. You just wanna cut it. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna bring this over here like this. Let me get this out the way. And I'm just gonna show it, we're gonna go, we're gonna run through it together. I'm gonna open it up. And then we're gonna start piping from the back and building it in just like this. And then we're gonna get a layer that's gonna stay open. You got me? Now you start to get it. Then we come back over the top, we fill it, and then we just decorate it. We go ahead and hit it with a little cheese, and then we go from there. Don't forget we got lobster bites in there, so we gotta get at least big enough so the bites can come out. So I'm gonna go ahead, squeeze some of this back. Now, we got an opening. If I push, now you can see it's starting to come out right now. So what we wanna do is, open this up, we wanna lay this here, and then we wanna just apply and just start, check it out. Look at that. I like to wiggle it back and forth, cause we want it to stay open. Now tell me how cool is that right there? We'll just set this off to the side like this. We're not done with that yet. We're gonna go ahead and flare this tail back open. Now this is the part where you customize it and tailor make it the way you like for it to look for your own presentation. As you see, I just put cheese, you know, some sour cream and some more uh, green onion on the top. It's all up to you. And there you have it. Look at that there. Tell me what you guys think about that there. Hey, super easy to make. Actually, it was fun making it. You want to put something out to wow somebody, hey, they're going to say right off the bat, hey, how did you come up with that? Hey, thank you, everybody. Don't forget, this is the channel that's taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what? Simplifying these recipes, this time I just put something down on somebody else's uh, creation. You know what? I like it. You're going to start seeing more and more things like this. And guess what, folks? It ain't no shrimp. Hey, so with that being said, I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Welcome to my channel. Go ahead, smash that like button. Tell everybody, it's a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking. And let's say it together. And we simplifying these recipes. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out. Peace.